These are Endon Star microscopes. These digital microscopes can be used for things such as soldering, finding damaged traces, locating cold solder joints, or identifying filled components. But what are the differences between these microscopes and which one should you get? All of these microscopes come with a stand, a screen, lights, an HDMI output, and a remote control. Most of them also have the option to connect to a computer through USB or Wi-Fi. The microscope with the lowest cost is the AD106S. It comes with a small screen that is almost 11 cm. The stand is a little over 15 cm and the stand is quite shaky, but all of them are. The screen is large enough to do most work, however, the vertical working distance might be a problem if you are planning on doing lots of soldering work. Also, some projects might not fit under the microscope because of the stand. The AD207S is a step up. It comes with a medium sized screen of almost 18 cm. The extension allows the stand to be a little over 26 cm. Soldering is easier with this higher stand. The medium sized display is nice to have if you are planning on spending quite some time looking at it or if you want to record an image in a higher resolution. The AD207S also comes as the AD207S 10 Pro version. This version comes with a larger screen of almost 26 cm and a stand height of a little over 26 cm, which is nice for soldering. The screen is larger, but the resolution is the same as the AD207S. However, the AD207S comes with an extension for the stand, which allows the stand to be almost the same size as this AD207S 10 Pro. So the biggest difference between the two is the size of the display. The resolution and quality of the image is also the same as the AD207. Also, the stand is as shaky as the AD207S with the extension, so the only real reason for getting this one over the AD207S is the size of the screen. Then we got the ADSM 302. It comes with a smaller screen, similar to the AD106S. However, this microscope comes with a higher and different stand of a little over 26 cm, which is nice for soldering. It is also less shaky compared to the others. However, for this price I would consider the AD207S. The height of the stand is almost the same and the AD207S comes with a larger display and a higher resolution. The AD407 comes with a medium sized display of almost 18 cm. The stand height is 19 cm which is still not great for soldering. It has a high resolution, however, for this price I would recommend getting the AD207S. It even has a taller stand with the extension. The AD407 also comes as a pro version. The height of the stand is 32 cm, but it also allows you to extend the stand in a horizontal direction. This allows you to put larger projects under the microscope. The AD409 comes with a large screen of almost 26 cm and a stand that is almost 19 cm. It does come with a Wi-Fi connection. If you want Wi-Fi this might be worth it. If not, the AD207S10 Pro comes with the same size screen and with a taller stand for a lower price. There is also a Pro version which is basically the same but comes with a nice stand of 32 cm. It also allows you to extend the stand in a horizontal direction for larger projects. This is similar to the AD407 Pro but with a larger screen. If you want to get one of these microscopes and are planning on using it regularly, this one is the best one to get. It has a large screen and a tall stand which makes it better for inspection and practical work. It also comes as an ES version. This means that there is an endoscope included, which allows you to look at your work easily from different angles without moving your work. All of the microscopes come with a remote control. This allows you to zoom in and record with the microscope. This is nice to have because these microscopes can be quite shaky, so taking a picture without touching the microscope prevents the image from becoming blurry. The biggest difference between these microscopes is the size of the screen and the size of the stand. The smaller screens are big enough if you want to do some simple work occasionally. In this case I would recommend getting the AD106S or if you want a larger screen and a higher stand for soldering, the AD207S would also be a great option. If you will be using the microscope regularly, the AD409 Pro will be your best option with a large screen and a tall stand for practical work. The height of the stand, the option to extend it horizontally and the size of the screen really separates this one from the rest. If you want something in between, the AD407 would be the best option with a medium sized screen and a medium sized stand. If you are planning on doing quite some soldering, I would get the AD407 Pro for the taller stand and the option to extend the stand in a horizontal direction. 
I hope that this will help you decide which Endenstar microscope is the best for you. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this.